Hi there, my name's Andrew, one of the final year medical students. Could I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yeah, it's Dan Stage, 1st of the 1st, 1985. Nice to meet you, Dan. Today I've been asked to perform a respiratory exam. This will just involve me inspecting from the end of the bed and then moving in closer and listening to your chest with the stethoscope. Would that be okay? That's fine, yeah. Are you in any pain at the moment? No, no. Okay, brilliant. Dan, if you could just take your shirt off for me and we'll start. Yeah, okay. Okay, Dan, I'm just going to start with some inspection from the end of the bed. Okay, Dan, I'm now going to have a look at your hands. Could you bring them out in front of you like this for me, please? Fine, and can you turn them over for me? And could you bring two fingernails together like this for me? Thank you, and bring your hands back out for me. I'm just gonna feel the temperature of your hands. Now your pulse, you can relax that out. Thank you. We now need to check for any tremors. So could you bring your hands out in front of you for me and splay your fingers? Great, now could you cock your wrist back for me? Thank you. Dan, I'm just gonna more closely inspect your face. If you could just look straight ahead for me. And the first thing I'd like you to do is pull down on your lower eyelid. That's great. If you could just open your mouth for me and now lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth. I'd now like to have a look at your neck. If you could look over to the left hand side for me. Mm -hmm. Do you have any pain in your tummy, Dan? No. Do you mind if I press? No. I'm now going to check the position of your windpipe. It might be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay? Okay. I'd just like to closely inspect your chest. Dan, if you could just put your hands on your hips and bring your elbows forward for me. And relax, thank you. And I'm just going to feel your chest for your heartbeat. Would that be all right? Yeah. And now I'm going to put my hands around your chest and I'd like you to take some deep breaths for me. Okay? Okay. Deep breath for me, Dan. And out. Same again. And once more for me. I'm now going to tap on various points of your chest. Would that be all right? That's okay. I'm now going to listen across your chest. If you could just take some deep breaths in and out through your mouth for me.
And now every time I lay my stethoscope on the chest, could you say 99 for me? 99 99. Thank you. If you could just sit forward for me now. I'm going to feel for any swollen glands in your neck. Now if you could just fold your arms for me, Dan. I'm going to examine the back of your chest. I'm not going to lay my hands around your chest down, just some deep breaths for me. Now ninety nines for me. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. You can sit back with. That completes my examination. Thank you. You're very welcome to get dressed now. Thank you. To complete my examination, I'd like to do oxygen saturations, request a chest X-ray, and do a peak flow at the bedside. In summary, I saw Dan, a young male who from the end of the bed was comfortable and not short of breath. There was no peripheral stigmata of respiratory disease. There was no evidence of a tremor. On palpation, there was symmetrical chest expansion and on percussion, the chest was normal resonant. On auscultation, there was bilateral air entry with no added sounds. This is a normal respiratory examination.